I've been doing experiments to learn what it takes to build small, self-sustaining aquarium for fish. Check links in the description to the video for more details. Here you can see my 3D aquarium with young guppies. I moved fish to a large aquarium when they grew up. Now I've been using the same well-established aquarium as a self-sustaining aquarium for little critters. Remember, I don't change water in all aquariums. My well-established aquariums offer a unique opportunity for this matter. It is fish waste, remains of food and fish poop accumulated on the bottom, making fertile soil the source of food for plants and some creatures. There are at least three types of different creatures coexist in this aquarium along with land moss, a dwarf lily, duckweed, frogbit plants, common green and filamentous algae. Let's look at how things go in this aquarium starting from August 2018. Words of gratitude to YouTuber Arnaldo MB for identifying the creatures as Aulophorus vaga. Thank you Arnaldo MB. Here you can see these case carrying aquatic worms before I put them in my 3D aquarium. They come with filamentous algae, another case of my interest. Also, I added some snails and seed shrimp to keep genetic health of existing colonies. August 26, 2018. Cases carried by aquatic worms get smaller in the past week. Filamental cells grow fast, taking all available space. September 5, 2018. The bottom part of the aquarium is thickly covered by a mesh of filamental algae. Creatures are having fun in those aquatic jungles. October 24, 2018. Filamental algae gets thinner and decreased in amount. October 27, 2018. Land moss is taking space instead of filamental algae. Worms are busy as always. November 23, 2018. Here you can observe life in the aquarium at normal speed. Let's switch to a time-lapse recording. Tiny creatures and plants live in different dimensions. Look how many creatures are here. Here is a real-time recording of a tiny fury of actions. A seed shrimp bites an Aloforos vaga worm. Apparently, carrying a case makes a lot of sense. December 6, 2018. I don't add or remove anything in this aquarium since August 2018. No food, no water changes. The aquarium has access to atmospheric air. The top cover reduces water evaporation. Eventually, I may need to add dechlorinated water. Though, there is a way to avoid it. And so, life goes in cycles, on its own in this aquarium, month after month, without me doing anything but watching it. Here you can see filamentous algae start growing again, and so does the dwarf lily, while this land moss seems to grow continuously. Have fun and happy aquariums!